Hello, I'm Kenny from Owlbot, and I really quickly wanted to show you how to use these uh, 3D printed 35 to 120 adapters that we're selling uh, at owlbot.co. Uh, first, what you're going to want to do, these are the black ones that we're sending out. The first batch that I ever printed were gold, so I'm going to use my gold ones here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your medium format camera of choice. Mine is a Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2. You're going to just take off the back or whatever it is that you need to do to load the film for your camera. I've actually never shot with other 35 or uh, other medium format cameras, so I don't know. Uh, so what you're going to do is you'll notice you've got your uh, take-up spool here, which was once a normal spool, and you're just going to put that in the usual position. Uh, then you're going to take your film of choice. I am going to load up some... Kodak Color Plus 200 because I like it. Uh, and you're going to put the uh, correct adapters in the correct sides. Now you can't screw this up. So like if you try to put the long one in the top, see how it doesn't go all the way on? So don't worry about screwing that up, you can't. The thing you can screw up is loading the film in backwards. Now it would make sense or it feels right to load it in like that, to go with the curve of the of this thing, but um, actually no, you're going to want the matte side to uh, be facing the lens, otherwise you're shooting uh, red scale. So you'll notice when I... So this is the side that faces the lens, right, like that on the back. So what you're going to want to do is just kind of bring it around town like that, across the front, and then into the take-up spool. Now, um, you don't really got to worry about having it be centered or anything. It kind of does it itself. I mean, you want to be sure it's like close, obviously, but uh, it tends to figure itself out. That looks good to me. So you'll notice matte side or the lighter side facing the, the lens. Otherwise, you're shooting red scale. Now, if you want to shoot red scale, um, go ahead. Just overexpose your image by, like, two stops. Otherwise, they'll come out kind of dark. Um, and then you just put that on your camera. Take out the dark slide. And you're ready to shoot. Now, one thing I do want to say is if you are going to shoot uh, sprocket photography... Um, you are going to get a varying number of frames out of your camera, and you're also not going to have, you know, it's not going to show you in here um, where your frame lines are. So you really have to eyeball it, which is kind of the fun, half of the fun. Uh, you'll notice it's just a normal, hello. Um, so you get between 9 and 12 uh, shots with this, depending on the roll. Um, obviously like 36 you're going to get closer to 12, 24 you're going to get closer to uh, 9. What you're going to want um, to remember is that when you finally hit the end, this won't advance anymore, you know? And uh, instead of opening the back and just taking it out like you would with medium format, you're going to want to take this back into a dark room or a changing bag, uh, take it out, and then what I do is I, I leave one of the adapters in, like the top one, and just twist it around the um, canister to reload the film into the canister, and then you can send it off. I've uh, definitely accidentally flashed a couple rolls, which kind of do give like a cool look, but obviously you don't want to, if you're not trying to do that intentionally, you don't want to. So that's that, and uh, have fun.